Introduction to Theater, written by Jacob Shearer, is brought to you by San Luis Obispo County Office of Education, Wine Country Theater in Paso Robles, and the Sloco Arts Collaborative. Hello, I'm Jacob Shearer, and I'm an actor, director, and operatic singer from Paso Robles, California, currently residing in Los Angeles. And I'm Veronica Serber. I'm an actor with Wine Country Theater, and I also work behind the scenes helping put shows together, which is quite common in small companies. All theatrical productions require training, and we want to help you put on the best show possible. This program covers the basic training that will give you a good start. This episode will cover what it means to be in theater, warm-ups, blocking, etiquette. We'll finish off with a performance from Les Miserables. Consolidate their gifts. We can end this war at Yorktown. Cut them off at sea, but for this to succeed, there is someone else we need. I know. So he knows what to do when a trench ingenuity is fluent in French. I mean, so you're gonna have to use him eventually. What's he gonna do on the bench? I mean, no one has more resilience or matches my practical tactical brilliance. Hamilton. You want to fight for your land back? Hamilton. I need my right hand man back. Yes. Get your right hand man back. Hamilton. You know you gotta get your right hand man back. Hamilton. You gotta put the button to the letter, but the sooner the better to get your right hand back. Alexander Hamilton. Theater is a term that represents many types of performance. It could mean a play with many actors, or a musical with singers and a large orchestra. A theatrical performance may feature one actor at a time. All I knew was I wanted to be a writer, a political journalist. I soon found out that male journalists got all the political assignments, and most women got assigned family, food, and fashion stories. My high point was writing a long, in-depth article for the New York Times on textured stockings. <laughs> or it can be an experimental performance that is unique. To understand what the word theater really means, let's take a look and see just how theater has evolved over time. Theater is one of the most powerful ways of communicating the human experience, and it has a long history. Many scholars believe that the beginnings of theater first appear in Athens, Greece, some 3,000 years ago. Religious celebrations honoring the Greek god Dionysus featured vibrant costumes and exaggerated masks. You probably recognize the comedy and tragedy masks as a popular symbol for theater. The origins of these masks date back to the masks used by the Greeks. The actors wore masks to represent the emotions the characters were feeling. These masks could also be seen by people sitting far away. This is a statue of Thespis. Historical accounts from the Greek philosopher Aristotle describe Thespis as an exceptional performer who could assume different roles and emotions as he dramatically recited poetry. Notice how he is holding a mask. Actors today are known as thespians, all thanks to the ancient dramatic flair of Thespis, the first actor. Romans contributed to the development of the comedy of manners and farce. These performances were presented as a part of Roman games, which also featured chariot races and gladiator contests. Roman plays had stiff competition for audience attention since make-believe drama is no match for the excitement of real death. In Africa, the earliest theatrical events date back to 2000 BC with the passion plays of ancient Egypt. The story of the god Osiris was performed annually at festivals throughout the civilization. There are two versions of theater to arise out of the Asian continent, both around 1500 BC. The first being from China during the Shang Dynasty involving music, clowns, and acrobats. This theatrical art form has evolved into a sophisticated and highly athletic presentation that is still wildly popular in China today. Another ancient theater called Sanskrit came from India. Actors adorned in elaborate costumes and colorful makeup used singing and intricate hand and eye gestures to move the drama forward. 
It is occasionally still performed, but not usually in its original form. In ancient times, Sanskrit plays could be very long. Sometimes they'd last days, even weeks. <laughs> Do you think they camped out? Did they serve breakfast, lunch, and dinner with the price of admission? I don't know, but it better be a good story to hold my attention. These are just a few of the early types of performances that have culturally influenced what we call theater today. In a later episode, we'll discuss the difference between classical theater such as Shakespeare and modern theater. What has not changed throughout the ages is theater's ability to communicate and affect its audiences emotionally. Theater also is a craft that includes all other art forms, painting, dancing, singing, acting, poetry, lighting, sound engineering, and more can be found in the process of presenting a performance. This is what makes theater so exciting for us and other theater lovers. Such differing skill sets and a diverse group of people with those skills coming together to create a final product that entertains and hopefully moves people in the production and audience members alike. If you're going to be on the stage, you have to do your warm-ups. Now, you may feel a little silly to begin with, but I assure you they're really important. As you practice these exercises, you'll become more comfortable. We do vocal warm-ups so we prepare our voice so we don't strain our vocal cords. These vocal warm-ups help strengthen the vocal cord muscles to protect them. It helps the singer sound better, stronger, more controlled. Actors should practice their warm-ups daily. Let's first start with the breathing component. I want you to imagine a tire around your midsection. We're going to use our diaphragm, which is the primary muscle for respiration. Now, try to expand that tire as much as you can like this. And hold it, and then we're going to exhale with a buzzing sound like this. Let's try that all once together. Inhale. Now let's start with the stretching component. As we inhale, we're going to get our hands as big as they can, as well as our face, like so. And then when we exhale, we're going to get as small as we can as we buzz, like so. OK, let's combine that all together. We're going to inhale for five, hold for five, and exhale for five. Veronica's going to help us with the counting. All right, inhale for five. One, two, three, four, five, hold. One, two, three, four, five, exhale. One, two, three, four, five. Very good. Now we're going to increase the count. We're going to inhale for five, hold for five, and exhale for ten. Let's try that. All right, inhale. One, two, three, four, five, hold. One, two, three, four, five, exhale. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let all the air out. Very good. Now, on to the next exercise. All right, now that we've got our vocals warmed up, now let's get our bodies warmed up. It's important for actors to feel relaxed and ready to work. When we arrive at rehearsal, sometimes people might be shy, maybe a little sleepy, maybe they don't know each other very well. So this is a great way to break the ice. This is called the chair game. It involves two people. One person starts sitting in the chair. Jacob, would you start for me? The other person is going to give a command to get this person off the chair. And once this person leaves the chair, the other person sits down and they reverse roles. It's a way to break the ice, just to kind of be silly and have fun. Don't take it too seriously. All right, let's give it a go. Excuse me, sir, you dropped your wallet over there. What are you doing here? Your Zoom class has started. Uh, um, uh... You're weird. <laughs> <laughs> and that's just a couple exercises to demonstrate what the chair game is. It's a great way to get your body warmed up and ready to rehearse. For our final warm up today, we're going to do the siren exercise. Remember, it's okay to be silly. And remember to use your diaphragm. That's the only way to do this healthily. We're going to start with the lowest of our low notes and use our full range going all the way up. And as we go up, we're going to throw our arms like this. It's going to be on an ah vowel. And as you go up, 
open wider and wider as if you're yawning. All right, here we go. Uh. Now, one more time, and we're gonna do it twice. Up, down, up, down. Here we go. Uh. Very good. Welcome to rehearsal. Today we will be blocking Veronica in a song called On My Own from the musical adaptation of Victor Hugo's novel Les Miserables. Blocking is the precise movement and positioning of actors on a stage. Before we begin our rehearsal, we're going to go over a few blocking terms. Veronica is going to move stage right, and I'm going to move stage left. Notice I move stage right because I'm, I'm moving as an actor. It's my right. I'm not moving at the audience's right. I'm actually moving the audience's left. But we call this stage right because it is my right, the actor's right. Now we will move downstage. When we move downstage, we're moving towards the audience. And the opposite is true. Moving upstage means we move away from the audience. Right now we're going to cross on a diagonal in an X formation moving upstage. Now we're going to cross to center, ending up where we began. Crossing center. Now we've had our crash course in blocking. Let's get to rehearsal. Welcome back to rehearsal. Today we're working on the song on my own, and we've been working on it over Zoom for a while, but now that we're in the actual space, we have to make a few changes. So we're going to walk you through the blocking of the song. Now while we do this, she's not going to be singing the song, she's going to be speaking the lyrics as if it was a monologue. It's just a better way to keep the voice healthy and not have to sing every line every time. So we're going to start with the position that you're starting the song in today, Veronica. That would be upstage left. Right. Okay. So, you're starting upstage left, and then you're going to cross walking downstage on the diagonal towards center, okay? And that's uh, the first three lines of the song. So go ahead and walk through that. All right, so, and now I'm all alone again, nowhere to go, no one to turn to, without a home, without a friend, without a face to say hello to, uh -huh. okay? And now, as, let's go back and do it one more time, and as you're walking, you're going to take off the hat, and let your hair fall. Okay. Oh, I should make note that anytime when we are rehearsing, uh, we are typically using scripts that are rented, and so it's very important that you use a pencil and you write lightly whenever you have to make notes. So we never use pen when in our scripts. So I just wanted to point that out. All right. All right, so From I'm gonna the take top. the hat off. Mm -hmm. Okay. And now I'm all alone again, nowhere to go, no one to turn to, without a home, without a friend, without a face to say hello to. Okay, and then you're gonna finish that stanza right here, mid-stage, okay? All right. And then sometimes I walk alone at night, you're gonna cross stage left towards the ammo box. I'm going to cross stage left yeah. towards the ammo box. And then as you're crossing, we're going to act kind of sneaky about it because it's okay. part of the lyrics, okay? So go ahead and cross. All right. Sometimes I walk alone at night while everybody else is sleeping. Okay. And then you're going to end at the ammo box that the city goes to bed. Okay. Now I have, more, I have less space than I have words. Okay. Because I'm only a few steps so, away. Okay. Should I? So then let's back up and get you further over stage right. Okay. Okay, so sometimes I walk alone at night. We're going to cross all the way down stage right. All right. Sometimes I walk alone at night while everybody else is sleeping. Without, um... And I think of him? I think of him and then I'm happy with the company I'm keeping. The city goes to bed. That's where I'm at the ammo uh -huh. box, right? And then on the final line in that stanza, and I can live inside my head, we're going to sit on the downstage side of the box. Downstage side, okay. Uh -huh. And I can live inside my head. Okay, now we start on my own from here. 
And as you're saying on my own, pretending he's beside me, you're going to slide upstage on the ammo box as okay. if he's going to sit next to you. Okay. And then all alone, he's going to, it's as if he's reaching for your hand to pull you up to walk with him. All alone, I walk with him till morning. So all alone, I walk, you're getting up, and okay. then till morning, you're walking. Uh, okay. You're walking stage right. Oh, I'm going to walk stage right. Okay. Mm -hmm. I walk with him till morning. Without him. And then I feel his arms around me. You're going to hug yourself as if he's hugging you from behind. I feel his arms around me. And when I lose my way, I drop the arms there. Mm -hmm. Okay. And he has found me, it's uh, this sense of relief, you know, you, we're back together. And then, in the rain, we're going to have to get you going right again. Okay. In the rain, the pavement shines like silver. Uh-huh. And as you're doing that, let's showcase this being the pavement shining like silver. You're, you're getting into your head, you're seeing, you know, what we see when we're in love, the shine, and it's just a road, it's just some dirty road in Paris, but it's shining, you're feeling elation, okay. you know, the love is coming through. All right. Okay, so back it up a little closer to the ammo box and in the rain. In the rain, the pavement shines like silver, all the lights are misty in the river. Mm -hmm. Now. Uh, in the darkness, you're going to pull out the handkerchief from your coat pocket. In the darkness, the trees are full of starlight. I'm mm -hmm. looking at it, I assume? Yes. And all I see is him and me forever and forever. And then now, on, and I know it's only in my mind, slowly walk down stage center. Okay. Moving down here. And I know it's only in my mind. You're starting to get a little defeated because you're, you're remembering the truth, which is not nearly as pleasant as what you've been singing about. And now you're going to deliver the rest of the stanza all at center right here. Okay. All here. Okay. 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 So, and although I know it's, uh, that he is blind, still I say there's a way for us. And then, I love him, downstage right we're going to cross, but when the night is over, he is gone, and then we're going to get all the way downstage right. He is gone, the river's just a river, we're looking at a river in front here, Okay. in front of the stage. Then without him, we're going to cross downstage center, still looking out though, all just completely straight across, okay? Okay. And you're still looking out, but when the night is over, he is gone, the river's just a river. Without him, you're still looking out, and you're center here. The world around me changes, and the trees are bare, and everywhere the streets are full of strangers. I'm downstage center there. Yeah, you're planted here, and then I love him. You're going to grab the, have the handkerchief in your hand still, mm -hmm. and you're going to look at it, bring it up to eye level. Okay. I uh, love him. But every day I'm learning. And you're, gonna, you're starting to realize again that this is just a figment of your imagination. He doesn't love you back. He doesn't know that you love him. It doesn't matter. And so you're going to look at this and give all of that feeling into this handkerchief, right? Mm -hmm. And all my life I've only been pretending it's going to get thrown down. Pretending. All right. Got it. Okay. Okay, and then without me, out. yeah, we're going to stay there. Without me, his world will go on turning, a world that's full of happiness that I've never known with that really big note at finish there. And then I love him. Look at the handkerchief on the first one. Okay. And I then love him. I love him, number two. You're going to pick it up. And then you finish, but only on my own. But only on my own. Downstage center still, right? Yeah. All right. Got it. Perfect.
Another important element to theater is etiquette. Oftentimes in a rehearsal, there are lots of things going on. Sometimes you'll have an actor that is really focused. He's working really hard. He, he might be frustrated in the moment um, while there's so many other things going on. So one thing to remember that um, what's important is that you need to be respectful and let the actor maintain his or her focus. Another important thing to remember during rehearsal is um, who the right person to talk to might be. Um, I know that if I have a costume issue, I'm going to go talk to the person in charge of costumes. I wouldn't necessarily go to my director um, for those kinds of issues because my director has a plate already full. So it's important to know who is the right person to go talk to if and when issues arise when you're performing in a show. We'll talk more about etiquette in a future episode. Without a home, without a friend, without a face to say hello to. And now the night is near, and I can make believe he's here. Sometimes I walk alone at night when everybody else is sleeping. I think of him and then I'm happy with the company I'm keeping. The city goes to bed. And I can live inside my head. On my own, pretending he's beside me. All alone, I walk with him till morning. Without him, I feel his arms around me. And when I lose my way, I close my eyes and he has found me. In the rain, the pavement shines like silver. All the lights are misty in the river. In the darkness, the trees are full of starlight And all I see is him and me forever and forever And I know it's only in my mind That I'm talking to myself and not to him And although I know a way for us. I love him, but when the night is over, he is gone. The river's just a river. Without him, the world around me changes. The trees are there and everywhere. The streets are full of strangers. I love him. I love him, I love him, but only on my own. What a wonderful song depicting many elements of modern theater, and well done, Veronica. 
We hope you've enjoyed your introduction to theater presented by Wine Country Theater and the San Luis Obispo County Office of Education. Thank you, Jacob. And thank you for joining us. We invite you to get involved in your local community theater. At Wine Country Theater, we're always looking for talent. Actors, directors, dancers, anyone wanting to get involved in tech. And if you're not sure exactly what you'd like to get involved in, you can always volunteer. For more information, join us at winecountrytheater.com. We hope you'll join us in our next video, Stage Fright, Auditions, and Monologues. Until then, bye.